Yesterday I went to the thrift and I got everything in these bags. So I'm gonna show you. Hopefully it's around 30 items because that's what I need to list today. One, two, three, four, five. I have like eight already ready to go, but I need another 22. All right, let's see what we got. Got some Jamie Sadek. Oh, it's a golf score. This is what the logo looks like. This was $6.99. It's a size 18, which I've never sold plus size uh, Jamie Sadek. So hopefully that's a good thing. We have some Foot Joy. This stuff is from the Goodwill. Some Foot Joy golf pants for eight bucks. They got some stains on them, so I'm gonna have to wash them. It should be like um, 25 to 30 bucks. They do pretty well. I spent $68 at the Goodwill. Let's see, Mountain Hardware, skirt. For all this women's stuff, basically how I find it is I just, I don't look through the whole women's section, I just walk down and I look at the material and I have it just in my head, I can easily spot these type of like athletic materials. Uh, this Mountain Hardware skirt was five or yeah, $5. This was 10 bucks. It's a True Religion um, Pearl Snap Western shirt. I sold these a couple times for like 25 or 30 bucks. It's men's. It's a men's small, so not great, but all right. Uh, Duluth Trading Co. Women's button up shirt. And it's got like roll tab sleeves. It's got the button there that's called a roll tab. It has like a little flap on the inside of the sleeve. It's vented. It's like a fishing shirt, kind of. I do really well with the Luth Trading Co. women's shirts, specifically. The men's ones are a little slow for selling for me. Another Jamie Sadek hiking skirt. Or, I mean, a uh, golf skirt. Oh, this one's just a skirt, actually, not a skirt. That's what the logo looks like. This is seven bucks. Pretty good brand. It's like 25 bucks, I think. 30, maybe. Um, the comps are all over the place on these. I'm probably just gonna list it at like $28. I did really well with soccer jerseys from all the brands, really. Um, this one's Adidas, which is like not that great, but Nike ones I do especially well. This looks like Germany, I think. Mm, it's got a couple fabric snags I'll have to clip off. I didn't notice that. Sometimes it's really hard to see like fabric snags in the thrift store lighting. I have such a bad canker sore right now, it hurts to talk. Ow. Because I got sharp teeth right here. And I bite, I get excited when I eat, so I bite my lips. And I got a big lip. So, I bite it all the time. And I get canker sores. Uh, cool. Roll up. Capri hiking pants, six bucks, women's. Another pair in a different color, six bucks, women's, size 12. Those are really good, those are like 25 bucks. This one was kind of a gamble, it's a vintage uh, made in USA. Well, it's not that much of a gamble, but the price, there's no way to really determine. It's a crewneck sweatshirt from UC Santa Barbara. But it's got this cool, like, floral patchwork on it. Or patch logo. I paid $6 for that. 
which is a lot for just kind of generic vintage stuff. This is good. More Jamie Sadek. It's like a pullover half zip golf top, um, but it's new with the tags. You can see originally it was $89. This is, uh, that's, that's a funny looking lady there. Um, let's see, what did I pay? Oh, they always do this. See, they put that red writing on the tag and then it gets on the fabric. That's not that big a deal though. Seven bucks. I don't know, I've never sold Jamie Sadek new, so I'm guessing like 30 or 40. All right, this is from, this is from EcoThrift. Not a good day at EcoThrift. I think I only got like 22 items. Gotta wash these. Um, got a bunch of these. Territory head shirts for five bucks. Um, they're worth paying five on if they're like a cool pattern. For the basic ones, you wanna probably pay like under three bucks. But these are men's large with cool patterns. I got a bunch of them. Here's another one. Oh, this one's tinsel cotton blend. My neighbors are talking below me. that too Shit. a high noon western shirt i've sold this brand one time before and it didn't do great um but that one did not have or maybe it did this one has like um horsies right here embroidered on it and it's a men's 3xl like a lot of the comps for this brand are like 15 bucks but i think considering the embroidery and the big size I could get like $25. I paid seven. Let's see. This was also $7. Company is Diesel. I sold one of their shirts before. I think I sold it for like 18 or 20. This one says XXL, but it does not look like an XXL. Maybe a slim fit. I don't know. I'll try to get a little more for this one. Like 25 maybe. For three bucks. Got a carbon to cobalt Henley shirt. Man, everything doesn't smell good there today. It's so annoying. This one's a linen blend territory ahead. So that's good. I try, I go to the thrift and pay up specifically so I don't have to wash the stuff. Um, but this needs to get washed. This one's 100% rayon. Rayon is not in the drop down for materials on eBay. It's super annoying. And I find a lot of rayon shirts. Territory head, $5. I probably priced all the territory head shirts that have the cool patterns at like $25.88. Try to take offers above 18. Another carbon to cobalt Henley shirt. This one's kind of thicker, almost like a um, sweater. And it's an XLT, which is a good size. Smells good. Another territory head, five bucks. Cool pattern. Gotta wash it. This one I didn't look up, I, pr I sh probably should have, but it was only $2. I think I've sold this brand before, but I'm not 100% sure. Biker wear. It's just like a sleeveless button up, but it has this sick skull guy on the back. Like this is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it'll sell. This is, I think really good. Um, I've sold their hoodies a lot. The company is American Giant. 
Uh, I got it for seven bucks. It's just a uh, waffle knit Henley shirt. Smells good. I don't know. I think like 30 bucks. All right, I have to look it up though. Another territory head shirt. This one is Lyocell. I hate Lyocell. It's like fake linen. It's like a, it feels like a mixture between silk and linen. I just hate it because it's not either of those, which are better keywords. Five bucks. Checking the collar on all of them because you'll get like a fading line there. This one doesn't smell, which is great. Another carbon to cobalt Henley shirt, three bucks. Uh, probably like 18 to 25 bucks I'll get on these. If I had to guess, I'm just guessing here. I'll probably price them at like 22.88 or something, depending on the comps. Another territory head, five bucks. Cool pattern. This one might even be, it's kind of like abstract art. I might even put the word Aztec or something there. Smells good. Rag and bone for five bucks. I don't think I got a single thing on sale. Size medium button up. Kind of like a chambray almost. It almost looks like denim, but it's not. I don't know. Roar, I love selling this brand. It sells really well. They sell this at Buckle. It's got a big old eagle on the back. It's like 25 bucks. Uh, paid seven dollars for that those are better if they have like big embroidery and stuff patches distressing this was half off um it's an under armor pullover like athletic running shirt i think it is new at the tags it was five bucks half off of ten and it's got like this big um logo on the back run 410 I don't know what that means and last but not least it's a green line international um, polo sweater I sold these a couple times my girlfriend had two of them that she got at the thrift and then she didn't like them anymore so I sold them for 20 bucks and they both sold pretty quickly. So I grabbed this one that was two bucks. I, I don't think the sell through rate's that great. I think it's like 50%. But I see these all the time at the thrift and they're worth picking up if they're pretty cheap. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.